They say a picture's worth many a word, but this one most assured is the rigid and most frigid touch of the lifeless curse. An icy film of glass seemed to pass along his sunken socket with the posies in his pocket laying in the hearse. The lips purple, shriveled and dry from days gone by and by. But what's worthy of intrigue is among his fatal fatigue something unanticipated. How his eyes so fixated on a bright and cloudless sky. The face concave, showing signs from in the grave, skeletal and frail. The bones tightly fit under skin thinly knit, the color gray and pale. Those church bells sang with a clanging bang, they rang and rang. Heralding the wails of grief, people shocked in disbelief and in a hopeless state of mourning. The congregation sobbing over silent conversation dressed in black attire, under circumstances dire, a tragic occasion without even a subtle warning. Death, the rider on a horse pale and rotten, first begotten of iniquity. This ill angel of antiquity, bound by obligation, reaps souls on bias. Slow and stealthy on the weak and sick, the strong and healthy, rich and poor, those we hate and adore, the wicked and the pious. But on this man death lost his bearing, for life blooms in those glazed eyes staring to heaven on high. Round his neck growing is a vine, a symbol of this deathless wine, for all who will in Christ believe, for those in whom we do bereave, proves life begins when we first die.